Headscarves and face veils on sale in London, which is home to a Muslim population of about a million. While it's thought only 1% of Muslim women in Britain wear a veil that covers the face, sales at this stall at least appear to be strong. The people are buying uh, more and more, and day by day it's increasing. They are um, buying these tops, uh, scarves, hijabs, burqa and all that. Until now, Britain has taken a fairly relaxed approach to religious dress. No laws exist to ban the wearing of face veils, turbans or kippers, for example, in public places, although some public establishments like schools can enforce their own dress code. But voices in support of the sort of ban seen in Turkey and now being debated in France are coming forward. The Eurosceptic UK Independence Party, which finished in second place in last year's European elections ahead of the ruling Labour Party, backs a policy that would see face veils outlawed in public places in the name of social cohesion and gender equality. That a woman that wears a face veil has got much, much less chance of getting a job and of getting on in society. Um, and, and, and it is our view and our belief uh, that many women are effectively forced to wear this this. Um, dress and it's not even in the Quran so this isn't directly anything to do with the Muslim religion. While many in Britain agree the niqab or burqa are a barrier to integration they also argue strongly in favor of freedom of expression. What is wrong with a person making a choice of a choice that they wish to? What has the government and who gave the government the right to impose what dress code people would wear? Would they say the same thing about tattoos and piercing? No they wouldn't. Everyone is free in Europe, and that's what Europe has fought for. Freedom, fairness and democracy. France has got it completely wrong. And they have got it wrong, according to the British government, which is not seeking to change the status quo. But if a ban of the face veil is passed into law in France, there's no doubt that the debate on the other side of the channel will intensify.